All right, we want z to join the square root of negative five to satisfy the, the, the divisor chain condition. So suppose a1, a2 um, are elements in z adjoin square root of negative five and an plus one divides an. Consider the norm n of a plus uh, square root negative 5b, which is equal to a squared plus 5b squared. We know, uh, we discussed in the chapter, nrs is equal to nr times ns, and this was with this particular example, actually. So, if a n plus 1 divides a n, then um, there exists some b n in z adjoin square root negative 5, such that a n plus 1 times b n equals a n, which implies that n a n plus one B N equals N A N plus one N B N which is equal to N A N. We know that actually how I should have written it was we know this bigger inequality, um, but we also know this one. And so all three things are equal. Um, but this implies that N A N plus one divides N A N. And of course this division is taking place in uh, z, actually in positive integers, but in particular in z. But anyways, so n a one, n a two is um is a we'll just say a chain in z such that n a n plus one divides n a n. So since z is factorial, there exists an n natural number n. Should probably use m because we're using capital N, such that for all or such that n of a m is equivalent to n of a m plus 1, which is equivalent to all the way up to infinity. This means um, n of b n equals 1 uh, for all n greater than or equal to capital M, which means b n equals plus or minus 1. So um, a n plus one is equivalent to a n. So, um, hence the divisor chain condition is satisfied because um, we have proven that a sub capital M is equivalent to a sub capital M plus one is equivalent to a sub capital M plus two and uh, so on and so forth up through infinity and that's equivalent to the divisor chain condition and so there we go we're done